Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, just too clean back with you. God damn it, you freaking air compressor. Every time I get ready to film, that SOB just wants to come on. <sighs> well, anyway, um, just lost my train of thought. Well, anyway, um, we're back and we've got everything uh, hooked up and locked in as far as the power wire. And I know some people may say, well, you're putting too much into it, you know, but for the people that's doing it themselves on this type of vehicle, or if you're just looking for a kind of a step-by-step, -step, a walkthrough on how it's done, I feel as though it's good, you know, to kind of go the long way. Because like I say, as long as you're doing it right, you do it light, but if you do it wrong, you're going to be doing it long because you're going to encounter a lot of problems. So it's best to just go ahead and do it right the first time and now uh, get it over with so let's go and take a look at where we're at right now okay all right as you can see everything here is locked down the uh, power wire is locked in here there's no fuse and the wire going to the battery cable is in here we got a heat shrink on security, you know, and just gonna go close in right down there. All right, so <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be installing the RCA jacks and the uh, your um, remote wire. A lot of times they're blue, but that's up to your discretion. I'm using the orange wire because it's one that I already had. And on this, you see that little black piece right there? That's another piece of heat shrink. And this end is going to the back of the radio on your remote wire. Okay. And I believe I have enough remote wire here to run it. But I also have a second piece here. Just in case I need more. And what do I always say about having more? It's better to have and not need than to need and not have. Okay. So just in case I need to mount my amp somewhere within the trunk. Where I figure out later this is what I want to do. I can do that because I have more than enough okay i got a pack of heat shrink here i ordered online it's real good to use because it encloses your um you know have packets like that it encloses your wires so that way they're not exposed and it you know it looks it makes it look neat you know so we're going to go ahead and take this is my pioneer head unit and like i said this is not the final unit that I'm going to put in. This is just satisfying my musical attraction. So, but it works pretty good, you know. Yeah, I like it. Nice and loud. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this out and then I'll be right back to show you the back of it. Okay. Okay. We're back. And so now I'm going to go ahead and ruin my uh, RCAs and my remote wire. Okay, now you can see I took my head unit out. There it is. And this right here, this is my remote wire. Okay, like I said, they're usually blue. Okay, but check with your user manual for whatever head unit that you're using and make sure that um, it, com it, it meets compliance. It's, it is blue or whatever wire it may be. Okay, so without a further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get that in, and then I'm going to attach this in here to it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, okay and we're back. <clears throat> and see, I got my wires hooked up, okay, and then I got my heat shrink, which is going to go right over it like that and with the magic of fire I'm gonna see if I can 
get it to close up without all this blimp and glare. Yeah, but there you go. Okay. Ah, dang it, win. I guess next air compressor will come back on. <laughs> Seems to be my look. Then yeah, we just heat those in. Usually you can use like a blow gun, a heat gun or something, you know. But it does the trick. And it's nice and secure in there. Now some people like to solder. And soldering's fine. But since I don't have a soldering machine or soldering device, um, I found that this is a great way to connect those things. Or what you could do is if you had those crimpers, the yellow things that you put on, I forgot what they call, I can't think of it, what they call offhand. But if you had some of those, you could put those on there and get the large size heat shrink, put that over it, and then heat that onto it. And that can work as well, you know. But like I said, it's all about trying to do things the right way. And, uh, I think we're I think we're doing pretty good here. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fish this water through there. And we're gonna come out somewhere down there. And we're gonna go ahead and run this wire. At the same time, I'm going to run my RCAs, which will hook up here to the back of this radio. Okay. There you go. Focus. So we're going to run these RCAs as well, and then I'll be back to show you that, okay? Okay, we're back. I have my RCAs right here, uh, T-Spec V8s. They say they're competition rated. I haven't done any um, research on them, but I guess I got, I got the V8 cables. I guess it's pretty good. I guess when I get my big ones, I might get the V12s. Looks like those are the high grade. I got another build that I'm doing at home that I'm going all out. So I'm going to see how these T-Specs work. I never had these before, but, you know, if anybody has any uh, comments or anything about them, you know, Feel free to let me know what you think or how they work for you. But anyway, you know, let's get on with the good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the box. Fresh out the box. Um, let's get these out of there. Come on, baby. Uh, I guess we can talk for a second that way. It's not just random noise I've been doing car audio for a while you know I'm just now really getting back into it you know when you got a family and all you know family comes first so I dare not put any type of equipment speakers and all that stuff in front of my family and my children you know some people don't think that way but I do you know Family is everything, so you always want to make sure you have your hands covered on that. All right, all right. Well, we got red and black, which is also being interpreted into your red and your white. Focus. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and run these down through there along with this uh, power antenna wire. And then, like I said, we're going to come out somewhere down there and head on back to the trunk okay so i'll be back again with you and we'll get this show on the road okay we're back that's a little bit more difficult than i thought but we did it so see we got our power wire to our remote turn on wire i mean and we got our terminals if you want to focus on that that would be nice there you go. Thank you. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and run the wires 
from in there down through here. I already got one of the remote, that remote turn on wire ran down through there. If you can see that. And so we're just gonna move the steering wheel up.